Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilllink. Welcome to another video in our career series. In a very recent video, I explained what are the five critical skills that as a mechanical, automotive or an aerospace engineer, you should have in order to get into a core engineering job. So in this video, we are going to speak about what are the essential softwares or skills that you need to acquire in different domains. If you are into fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, jet propulsion, then probably your domain of interest is computational fluid dynamics. So in computational fluid dynamics, so if you are looking at 3D modeling solvers, uh, 3D simulation solvers, so Converge, OpenFoam, ANSYS Fluent. So these are some of the popular uh, solvers that we currently provide courses in. So if you take up a CFD masters, you will have a course in Converge, you will have a course in OpenFoam and you will have a course in ANSYS Fluent as well. So this is with respect to computational fluid dynamics. Right? So MATLAB is a 2D solver where you will understand how to solve, how to create a solver by solving a few governing equations. And same with GT Power. GT Power is a 1D simulation software and these are the different skills uh, that you can learn, say for example if you are enrolled in a CFD master's course. Say if you are looking into design, right? So in design, usually uh, you need to understand the principles. You need to understand the principles of solid modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal, plastic. Once you understand the principles behind all these modeling skills, then it does not matter which uh, software you use because the software, the graphical user interface is probably the only change. Pretty much all the softwares will have the same tools available as well. So in design, SOLIDWORKS, NXCAD, UG NXCAD, probably there are multiple other domains that you can look into. So right now, if you are taking up our design master's course, so these are tools that you will be looking into. If you go into CAE masters, say computer aided engineering or FE uh, or, or FEA, right? Finite element analysis. Then the tools that you will be looking into is HyperMesh. HyperMesh and ANSA for uh, say meshing and uh, ANSYS Workbench, Radios, LSDyna, uh, for say solving Python for pre-processing. So these are tools that you will learn in our FEA or a CAE master's course. If you go into HEV, right, you will look into all these softwares and specialize also in MATLAB and Simulink. So this, all the three plus MATLAB and Simulink for IC engine and electric powertrain is what you will be looking into. So one thing that you can ask is, hey, I know all these softwares, or will I get a job? No, you will only get a job when you have the theoretical understanding and you apply the theoretical understanding in a particular software which will allow you to solve any problem and not constrain you to only a particular example problem, right? So that is what you need to focus upon. And our courses at Skilling basically are built upon those fundamentals, okay? Um, so in the next video, I'll explain about the theoretical aspects that you need to learn in order to get these jobs. Uh, I'll basically explain uh, set by set. Uh, so if you like this video and if you are following up our career series, do make sure you subscribe to our channel and also share this video to your friends. Okay, thank you guys.